Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So I thought I would do a different video today, but I stumbled across this store that I feel like is the perfect combo between thrift store, antique store, but it also has a bunch of things from the 1980s, like from my childhood. Um, and I've never seen like that much of that stuff in one place before so I think it's really cool because that stuff is like sentimental to me. I didn't notice those sh big shells when I was in the store but I'm looking at them now and I'm like oh those are so cool. And they had these like old trays. I think they had like the king and queen on them down there. Um, at the beginning there was like these two little like chicks. I think they were salt and pepper shakers. They were really cute. And there was that little like translucent blue elephant that I thought was really cute too. So they had like some different things like some jewelry type stuff. Um, which didn't really appeal to me but they did have this big um, like mannequin with the brooches on it which I, I love when stores do that. I've seen it a few times in different stores. I just think it looks cool. I don't know if these are like actually vintage or not. I can never really like tell with things like that. To me it also doesn't actually matter if it's actually vintage or not like if I like it. Like there was one on here that I think it was a butterfly that I really liked. It was very colorful. I didn't actually get anything in this trip either. I just it was so cool that we went there one time and then we were taking a friend there who was visiting us and um, I just thought this is really cool. I feel like I should film this. I really liked that milk glass vase in front of the mirror. I thought it was really pretty. I thought these next things were pretty cool. Um, probably not vintage, at least the game isn't, but it looks like it's a can of soup, but it's actually like a like a game but I just thought it would be cool it would be a cool like display piece and then the mug um like I think that there are old ones but I don't know the difference and then this is like the little like mascot child I think for Campbell's but I don't know if that's vintage or not either dolls really creep me out <laughs> I also really liked this teapot that was like gold and white, like kind of striped, but like I have no use for it, so, you know, I didn't get it. I thought that was pretty too, but again, um, I have no use for it. So then we get to the salt and pepper shakers, which is one of my favorite things to look for. There was quite a few sets here that I really liked. The first was this like Watkins, it was like a vanilla and the other one was pepper. I think they would go really well in my 70s kitchen. I did tell John that they would make a good Christmas present. I thought these were cute too. They were like little Christmas bulbs, I guess, or at least that's what I interpreted them to be. And then there was some, I also really like that bunny that's behind there. I think it's supposed to be like an egg cup um i did actually get a set of shakers in our first trip which i'll show you soon uh these heinz uh ketchup bottles they were made of plastic but the seven up ones were made of glass i kind of really liked the seven up ones too i think they would like fit in my kitchen vibe nicely i have a pretty big salt and pepper collection um that i think i'm gonna like film and make a video out of and i'll show you the set that i got um from this store it's not vintage but i think it's from the year 2000 it's actually i think my favorite salt and pepper shaker set i've ever found i loved that they had these old milk um glass bottles and some of them even still had the little paper thing i don't know what this was supposed to be i think like alcohol and shot glasses i don't know i thought it looked interesting but the milk bottles a few of them still had like little paper things on top i thought they were really cute but i really didn't have anywhere to like put them or do anything with them so in the 1980s my mom sold tupperware so anytime i see like old like 70s and 80s style tupperware it gives me all the feels my parents actually had that same salt and pepper shaker set and then um i'm not actually sure what the yellow thing was to the side these bottles of coke are really cool i think they it said they were from 1996 and they're just like unopened um like christmas coke i think it was like 15 dollars a bottle which i don't know I, c I couldn't ever see myself paying that for 
a bottle of Coke that you're not gonna be able to, like, I don't know, it's just weird. But at the same time, also kind of cool. I just wouldn't like have a reason to buy it myself, I guess. I do like Coke things though, because it reminds me of like the 1950s, but they actually had a lot of Coke stuff in this store. They had a lot of like tobacco tins and different things like that, which also gives me nostalgia for my childhood, <laughs> which is horrible to say, but in the 80s, nobody cared about smoking around children. <laughs> I thought this little like titanic tin looked cute too but I'm, I'm sure it wasn't even old but they were having a sale on all of their tins and then i think i'd end up picking it up the one in the back that's kind of yes it's like striped it like caught my eye i wasn't sure what it was but i think um it's like for a brand of cigarettes that i'm not familiar with so i don't know if that's just from another country or it's from like a long time ago and they don't make them anymore So then they had a couple shelves just filled with coke um stuff so they had these glasses which these weren't vintage but i really liked them a lot and i told john that i would like a couple for christmas and then my parents actually had these same like glasses with the handle like mugs which made me feel nostalgia um but i don't really think i would have use for them but i don't know it just looks cool and then they had some really cute mugs up here but again if the mug was bigger, then maybe I would get it, but I just know that even though it's cute, if I bought it, I would probably never use it because it's so small compared to, like, the size of coffee I like to drink, so. But they had some other cute things up there, more of that unopened Coke. And then at the very top, they had a couple of, like, Coke trays and a few more glasses. I do really like the old Coke trays. I think they look really cute. I just don't have anywhere to put them as of right now, anyway. These candles are really weird. They were, like, shaped like corn on the cob, <laughs> but they were candles uh, with glitter on the end. Now, this I actually thought was really cool. I have no idea if it's vintage or not, but it's, like, this cookie jar that I guess he's a gorilla. And I was like, you know, I feel like you could live in my kitchen. I feel like you would go with the vibe. I didn't get it, obviously, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Would it, if you've watched my 70s kitchen tour, do you think it would fit in there? Because I feel like it's probably still there. I really liked that juice jug that I just panned to down at the bottom. And there's also a coffee maker, like a Pyrex one. I really liked these little clear glass bowls with this little design. And they... Um, it was like a set of four with like plates. I don't know if you'd put like something hot in there or not. I was like trying to figure it out because they were an odd shape. And I've got some Spice of Life and some Spring Blossom, which are both my patterns, but I think I have all of those already. I wasn't really like looking to spend money on this trip. I really just wanted, well, we wanted to show our friend because they have a lot of 1980s stuff, which we're about to get into here. Um, and then I just thought it would be a cool video to film because I think it's a really cool store. I'm not super familiar, but I think this is like Pokey and Gumby. Is that accurate? I don't really know. I think that was like a little like more older, but um, that's what's coming to my mind anyway. But they had all these like really cool little toys. There's, um, there are some like McDonald's toys from the 80s where they're like driving cars. Does anyone remember like back in the day McDonald's had this whole group of people like it wasn't just Ronald. It was like Grimace and I think it was like Mayor McCheese. Yeah, I'm picking it up now. I'm pretty sure that's what his name was. There was just like a whole gang of them. There was like little fry people and that's like what I think of when I think of McDonald's because that's what was like popular when I was a kid but I had these cars when I was a kid so it brought back a ton of memories. I used to work at a w too um, a long time ago so it always gives me like all the feels especially because it's very like 1950s at least the one that I worked in was very um I don't know it's just like old-fashioned they used to have like really big photo like black and white photos on the wall of the restaurants in the 50s so it was like very just cool 
Now this is the part that got me really excited the first time in the store. Uh, these are like He-Man figures. So this is Battle Cat. When I was a kid in the 80s, He-Man was huge. It was one of my favorite shows to watch. And I've never, like I haven't seen these figures since the 1980s. And they're Skeletor. I don't remember all of the names of them, but like a bunch of the bad guys were in there. And I just thought it was like super cool. I feel like the pricing in this store is either like really good like they're not charging enough or they're like overcharging it's kind of weird but then some things are like okay well this is a great deal but other things it's like eh, i feel like that's a little bit too much but so they also have a whole bunch of like video games in the store too all the way back to like nintendo they have a whole bunch of like wrestling figures too and they had this like full ring and stuff which i don't know anything about wrestling but i i could tell that that's what they were um but i think that whole bin ended up just being like wrestling stuff which i don't really know anything about but it was still cool to see because i'm pretty sure this was like 80s and they do have some movies here but unfortunately they didn't have any vhs which made me sad i was hopeful that they were gonna have vhs but just blu-rays and dvd which they were priced in my opinion a little high maybe because i'm used to getting them at like a thrift store for like two three dollars so and they did have a bunch of cds as well they had some pretty cool um planet of the apes um action figures which i thought was cool and then they had tons of star wars and they had some he-man all still in the package i thought that was cool i know that sometimes they like release them like newer so i'm not sure if these are actually vintage or if they were like released in recent years as like kind of a throwback but i thought it was cool either way and then here just sort of trying trying to give you like a little overview of the store and then just past here is just like clothing which i didn't film any of because there were some ladies over there shopping and i didn't want to be like intrusive but here you can see they have like a bunch of different consoles and accessories and things and then up top they just have a whole bunch of games they also had a ton of comics too which i don't know anything about that but it seemed pretty cool they also had a bunch of like old um nintendo power magazines which i thought was cool john got a couple because he's a collector of video games They also had a whole bunch of records um which i was like not gonna look through but then the fear of missing something overtook me and i ended up looking but they also had some like dvds like tv show dvds i didn't really see anything that i was like too interested in i think i might have found dukes of hazard which i briefly thought about getting but again they were just asking like more than what i'm used to paying like usually i can buy seasons of shows for six dollars so it's just hard to pay more than that because i know that eventually i will find it So they did have a lot of records that I ended up um, liking, but they were priced like way higher than I'm used to paying again. I get records for $2 and that's really all I kind of want to pay for records because I don't like necessarily need the records. I'm not like a serious record collector or anything. I just like listening to them. So if I can find them for $2, I'll get it. But if not i can just use spotify like it's not that big of a deal so i did find uh they did have a lot of good ones there but it's just like they had a lot of records there that i already own that i paid a dollar or two for that were like 20 25 so it makes me happy that i found so many good records i like for so cheap
they did have some board games as well um, but nothing i was interested in and then they do have a bunch of these figures which were cool but i'm pretty i'm not sure if the name i want to almost call them funko pops i don't know though but those are very recent but they're still cool and now we come to what i feel like is the coolest thing in this entire store and that is this huge star wars imperial walker i literally audibly screamed when i saw it because i think it's so cool i would honestly love to have this as a display somewhere but like i don't have anywhere to display it but i'm a huge star wars fan and yeah, I just thought it was super, super cool. They also had the Millennium Falcon there. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like this really makes a statement. This, like, huge Imperial Walker just right there. But again, I have nowhere to put it. And also, it was $195. So I'm assuming it's probably vintage from the 80s. Um, I don't know. I think it's really cool, though. And then here's just kind of a look at they have this little kind of corner section with all of the like older video games like the nintendo super nintendo sega all that it's pretty cool speaking of ronald mcdonald they had a stuffed one there they had i think that was a cabbage patch kit on the very bottom just like different stuffed animals see a smurf there um I don't know it's just like cool stuff that i was a part of my childhood but i haven't seen for such a long time so it was a huge like walk down memory lane for myself and john and then our friend that was with us as well and then they did have a table with some like carnival glass on it which i actually love carnival glass but i just can't find a use for it or a place for it so i always see it and i think this is so pretty i want it but i just don't have room for it Maybe one day I'll get like a piece. They're actually having a sale on it too. Those cardinals my grandma would really like. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the store. It's not a huge store at all. And like I said, there was, there was other people in there shopping. So I didn't want to be intrusive or like invasive on, on their shopping experience. But anyway, I just thought it was kind of cool. So I would film it and just see how it turned out. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video. We actually have a ton of antique stores close to us. I typically don't go to antique stores that much because I don't like paying antique prices. But... I, I guess I do kind of like going and looking around so I could potentially film more videos like this but in any case thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.